Hello everyone, today is a big day for World of Warships. Today is the official release day, it is leaving beta. So I'm going to be talking about the changes that I see. They added a few things, uh, they've added ranked battles, I don't see where they are, maybe I'm not high enough ranked for them. Um, I don't know if they added too many big things, I could definitely see some graphical improvement. Or changes at least. I'll see if it's an improvement once I get into the game. So there we can see the Wyoming. Uh, there we can see the South Carolina. <coughs> Still taking a while to load in those objects. A problem I've noticed. Not really a big problem. And the St. Louis. Oh, and one other thing. They added a new premium ship to the game. Um, let me check. Let's take a look at the tech tree. It's the only German ship so far. Might have noticed it down there. The Interpets. So, this is the first German ship, which is a premium ship, added to the game. You can fight it on the store for 65 fucking dollars, or uh, 70 if you feel like getting the uh, added bonus stuff. <coughs> so, I don't know if it's good, because I haven't read much about it yet. I just decided, you know, I want to do good things for the game, so... Might as well put a little bit of money towards it. So it has some guns, uh, as you can expect. But uh, from what I've read, they aren't the most powerful. They are not as good as other tier 8 ships. It has outstanding armor compared to the others. And the unique thing is it has torpedo tubes. So what the uh, developers want you to do with this ship the way they wrote it, is from long range, your guns are gonna suck, get up close, and brawl the shit out of them with your torps and heavy armor. This is also the highest tier ship I have, being twice as high as by Wyoming. So this will be a learning experience. Of course I'm gonna take it out so we can see how it does. <coughs> Karl Heitze. Now, remember that if you're actually good at this game, unlike me, you'll probably do much better with this ship. Um, so, we'll see. I could suck at this. I could be good at this. We'll find out. Whenever I can join a battle, that is. <coughs> The ship is only going to be available for uh, probably another 13 days. Part of the reason it's so expensive is I think they want it to be rare, like the T-54 in uh, World of Tanks. They said it's going to be limited edition and special. It's just really expensive for one ship in one game. It's very rare that I would spend this much money on something in a game, but I like this game a lot. Maybe it'll do something good. Hopefully, it'll do something good, because that's more than a full AAA title. Alright, finally, here we go. This looks like a new map. That is just a map for higher tier ships that I haven't played on. Either way, it's a new map to me. See, the nice thing about taking forever to load is you don't have to make as many decisions. You can see where everyone else is going and decide off of that. Though at the moment, I would appear to be fully loaded and uh, still just sitting here. Okay, there we go. I clicked. Please, oh, god damn. For a second, I thought it fired. Okay, apparently a lot of people bought this ship. We have a couple North Carolinas and a fuck ton of trippets. The sounds are different. It seems to be quite fast. It's massive, as you can expect from a battleship. 
Still haven't added people on the deck. You know. Jesus, these ships are massive compared to my little Tech 4 ship. <coughs> and I seem to have a range of forever. Someone said, holy battleships. Not even battleships, just the trippets. The enemy team has taken the lead. So the ship is really maneuverable and really fast. <clears throat> so with this ship they say the optimum strategy is to get right up close to the enemy and twerp them. So at the moment it seems that everyone is just keeping their distance, not sure what to do. And I'm just driving this thing like a cruiser through here. Oh, wow, he got hit hard. Let's see, we got a trippets. Uh, we got, oh, wow, we got a whole bunch of trippets and in Atlanta. Mainly trippings, though. I really like how maneuverable it is. I know another ship on this tier is the North Carolina, which I really want to get. That'll take me some time, though. It seems everyone's heading towards B. And I'm just driving in circles because this thing turns amazingly fast for a battleship. has a plane, but, uh, not completely sure when to use that that won't piss off the team. So I'm just not going to. <laughs> that one's almost dead. <coughs> I'm not sure how big the guns are. I'm just going to assume pretty fucking big. Compared to my, uh, previous ship. I haven't even gotten a hit yet, so I don't know how much damage it does. The enemy team has taken the lead. I'm nervous about taking it straight into combat because it's a high tier ship, so I'm not sure how much it's gonna cost to fix it when I die. Okay, that set him right on fire. And they're gonna turn and be maneuverable. You know what? Let's see. No. I'll wait till they get closer to launch torp. In fact, since there's just one of them, I'm gonna go straight for them. I like the uh, quick fire rate. for a battleship. It's amazing. And, uh, please get the kill shot. 
Wow, they both went right to the Our side. Of the the okay, that's cool. I actually did get the kill shot. Enemy battleship destroyed. Voices are the same, which is good because they're pretty cool. Oh, wait, no, we are winning. That's right, this is a point battle. Not a, uh... Who can kill the most enemies battle. It's kind of both, though. So at half, it's turning about as fast as my tier 4 ship. I can't say whether or not the ship is OP, since I don't really have any other ships comparable to this one. Okay, try that. See what it does. Scout airborne. That's cool. Oh shit. Oh shit. Do I see from I am. Oh that's awesome. I can see from the eyes of the scout. Oh, it's kind of disorienting, honestly. Let's see. I don't even... That has to be out of my range by a lot. Or not. Nah. Oh no, it's not. I see now. Okay, that's actually pretty amazing for aiming. This has some long range guns. The reload speed's only a couple seconds shorter than the uh, other ships. <coughs> or a couple seconds faster, I mean. Still okay, back to normal. I guess that scout's kind of useful. Occasionally, for some things. Try that. Oh shit! Oh shit! Wreck him. <coughs> That's the first time I fired torpedoes in this game. I'm gonna take that ship straight on. See that someone really doesn't like their trip in the chat. Uh, I guess they didn't get the memo of uh, what you're supposed to use it for. Just kidding. It definitely seems like it isn't a ship for everyone. And I really look forward to when everyone isn't driving one. Because then you'll actually get to use its unique role in combat. For now, it's just kind of everywhere. Like, really, everywhere. <coughs> Jesus Christ, the Atlanta has more guns than it. These are battleship guns, though, so I'm sure they're bigger. I incapacitated something. Bad idea. Oh! 
Assault, sir. They've got that one. I'm just gonna worry about that. Torpedoes, astern! Concentrate fire on the designated target. It's a fun ship. And yeah, it's... It seems really nice. For this part. Or that thing they said about damage is at least really good. Not damage, but how much damage it can take. straight up wrecking my enemies with armor piercing. <coughs> oh, that's gonna be great if they can hurt each other. That's okay, I don't need them anymore. Because I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, it's those. Jesus, I almost killed them in one hit. Or one salvo. Did we win? We won. Okay, so... That is a awesome ship. <coughs> Isn't for everyone, definitely, because, as you can see, lots of people were angry with it. Or at least one person was. I find it to work quite amazingly, though. So, yeah, my thoughts on it. Is it worth $60? I don't know. That's up to how much you play this game. It's definitely nice, though. And the main thing is it'll be cool to have in a couple years when uh, no one else has... Well, not as many people have it. Right now, everyone has it because it's unique. Or at least it's on sale, it's being said that it'll be unique. So there you have it, that's my thoughts on it. The new update's nice, the graphics are nice, and I look forward to the continued improvement of this game because with World of Tanks, Planes, Warships, whatever, everyone knows once it's released, they still do a lot more to it. So lots more will be happening with this game. So thank you for watching, check out this game. It's amazingly fun if you like ships. Have a nice day.